real quick on these separators. Whenever you put a separator in at your lease, there's a float inside here that goes up and down, almost like uh, in a toilet. And when it goes up, it opens this valve down here and allows the water to come out. So whenever you set this float, it needs to be set properly to your specific lease water because it's a density deal. It needs to be set to that water. Um, right now we've got it rigged up. As you can see, if you follow me on Twitter, you already saw this, but uh, we're gonna have to go in there and change that float because it's not set up properly. And what you have is the float is too light, so it's staying up, letting all the water go out, and then the oil can't build up to go out and through here. Uh, this is the pressure regulator. You turn it to right or left on pressure, um, just barely, like quarter turn. And then here is your pressure gauge. Now we need, this is about 15 feet up here. So you can see about 15 feet you figure half a pound per foot so going up you need half a pound per foot about 15 feet so your so your pressure for the oil to go needs to be about eight pounds i hope that makes sense uh not the greatest at explaining this but you've got around seven pounds that you need to overcome and you need at least eight pounds here to push it through there and then that's a pressure regulator and as i said you kind of turn it to either open up the pressure or ease off the pressure but it all starts here with this float being properly done um, for your particular lease water every lease is different with the the uh, water density uh, parts per million, the salt, all that stuff. So that's uh, definitely something you need to need to take into account. Otherwise, you're going to be doing this because if you take this off, that float just wants to go up, open up, and then we can't get a well out. So keep that in mind. Pulling this well right now, it's 75 foot. It takes longer to set the rig up than it does to pull this well. Um, 75 foot if you saw my other video this is the casing that's cemented in then these here that's the tubing that goes inside the casing and then the rods are what connect the pump which those are wrapped up so you can't really see them but those are the pumps so the rods connect the pump to the pump jack which Where's the horse head? There's the horse head. Um, another thing on these more smaller ones, these horse heads aren't bolted on. So always keep that in mind. Uh, one issue we had, as you'll see later, is that there was too much fluid, too much pressure. And what happens is it, it knocks the, uh, basically knocks the horse head off. So you gotta watch those cause they'll kick off on you. Um, replace that, but I'll, I'll show you that video here in a minute, but um here's your polish rod and it connects by thread to these rods and then of course to the pump as i said uh, we're going to move to this well next all these look like they've got good oil as you can see we had oil and oil on the rods so we shall see whenever you're going to wells like this you don't want to spend a lot of money uh, don't want to spend a lot of money until you know there's oil so once there's a good showing of oil uh, we actually ran a, a sand line down oh hit my head ran a sand line down as you could see we got oil just to see where bottom was at and it's about 75 feet so stay tuned <laughs>
That's gonna be straight money. See this on the ground, you got chemical, you got vacuum set up. Just left for dead. You can tell all the stuff built around it. You got a screeching well right next door. Well, gonna do something. Yeah. Looks like somebody shot a hole in it. Left for dead. Ran the pump in, it was bad, so uh, the tubing was bad, so we changed out the tubing this morning. But, uh, yeah, buddy, that's what we do it for. I'm curious to get this vacuum up. It's a vacuum stand. You put the vacuum over here, AC motor, DC, whatever the hell it is. It runs it. There's a cooler for it. And if you remember, there it is. It's a uh, motor left over. Hooked up power. And, uh, yeah. She's doing good. Hot right, damn.